Hi YouTube, welcome to day 31 of our board studying, which means I have one more day of like studying and then my test. My test is in two days, which is crazy. Or one more day. I can't remember how I have how, how I have it counted. But um so yeah, today just kind of looked over stuff. We ended up staying home all day, slept until 8.30, tried to get our reserves of sleep. We've been doing pretty good of getting, you know, eight hours, seven and a half to eight hours every night. Um, but after being sick and being gone uh, over the weekend and getting sometimes less sleep, it was just good to kind of catch up on that. So got up and did some studying. I don't exactly remember what I did in the morning, but I took a 50 questions. Oh, I know. I kind of launched around and I, t I just kept taking 10 question anatomy blocks from ComBank because I just want I with Comlex I hear there's a lot quite a bit of anatomy on it. So I just wanted to make sure because sometimes that is a weak point of mine. And I was getting like 80 and 90 percent on them. So I was feeling pretty good about that. And a lot of them uh, were unused questions. So that made me even more happy. Um, and then I took a 50 question ComQuest test and I got an 82 so I was pretty happy with that again my scores have been ranging from I think 78 to 90 so that makes me feel pretty comfortable going into the test on Friday um, and I still I actually take the time now and it takes me a good 45 minutes to an hour to go through and look up those answers I, I don't know I really like their explanations so um, and then I just kind of I know anatomy, I'm putting off like memorizing the brachial plexus, and how bad is that? I, I have gone through two years of med school and studying for boards, and I've yet to memorize the brachial plexus. <laughs> but I worked on that, I worked on, I don't know, I was just flipping through first aid, because like I said, I haven't been able to just read it. But I got into the GI chapter, and I actually went through and was making just like a one-word flashcard, kind of like the rapid review at the end of first aid. I was just doing like... Crohn's disease and then on the back I would say like transmural, non-caseating granulomas, fistulas, like just kind of keywords to help me hone in on like what what the te um, test question stem could say. And I'm not a big flashcard user. I love making them because like I said I'm kind of a perfectionist and I love to work on things and, and make things but I don't really use them but it does help me by writing it out and oh I wish I had it in here but I don't. I drew very beautiful pictures of like gallbladder and you know doing the bile ducts and I also did that of the like portal vein and the things that empty into that because that's weird because there's the splenic and this um, superior mesenteric vein and then the inferior mesenteric vein actually goes into the splenic instead of directly in the portal vein. Um, so I drew that out and now I won't forget it. <laughs> and I also like wrote out the coronary arteries and which they branch into and then what they supply because I feel like I always get that and I can diagnose oh they have an MI you know on the inferior wall but I'm always like Ugh, what artery is that so I did that and so again I'm just trying to make it as interesting and fun as I can this last day because I'm kind of burned out from studying and tonight I went upstairs and I have people we live with she's a DPT and she taught me this really cool trick of learning the brachial plexus so that'll be my tip for today um, so pretend Let's see how to do this. So here's your brachial plexi, plexi. I don't know, plural of brachial plexus. Anyways, so here's your five. I actually have to do it with this this hand because this hand doesn't seem to work very well. Um, so here's your five. So C5, C6, C7, C8, T1. And how she taught me was this little trick. It goes three muscle men. So your muscular cutaneous, C5, C6, C7. Um, assassinated, so axillary, so C5, C6, um, four mice, the median, five rats, and three okay, so like the okay sign, okay uncles, so that's seven, eight, and T1 for the ulnar nerve. So anyways, hope that made sense, but I was like, oh, thank you, at least I have some information regarding that now. I can go into the test and at least I can remember that. And we also went over all the myo terms, you know, like C4, C5, um, C6. I don't know. Um, I won't show you that one because I'm not 100% sure on that one. I have to practice it. But anyways, that's what I was doing tonight. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep myself motivated to study by doing things that seem enjoyable to me. So I've been doing questions and I've been doing these random, <laughs> the random things that hopefully will help. 
Um, and then concerning tomorrow, because we're getting, going to bed pretty early tonight, we want to be in bed by 10, and then waking up, just like test day tomorrow, we're going to get up, and we're going to shower, and we're going to have our lunch. Well, actually, we're not going to have our lunch packed, but we'd pretend to grab our lunch, and then drive to the testing place. So tomorrow we will drive to our testing center and try to get there about the time that we are planning to get there, walk in the door, see where it is, and then turn around and walk out. Um, just to kind of get our brains ready and to make sure we know where we're going and how traffic will be. And then um, I think we're going to go around town. We're going to have lunch with our friend and uh, have to drop off something to someone. And I think we are going to study tomorrow. I think we'll just come back here and kind of do what we did today, just kind of do random things. I want to go over like the antidotes for things. I want to go over like common or like the side effects that we should know of the special different drugs. Um, I might read Repro Reproductive one more time, just because I know uh, a lot of times on the complex that's huge. Um, maybe practice some of my anatomy things again. Look over my OMM notes. And look over micro, except I'm not, I guess I have like my gram positive negative thing. And I'd like to look over the, um, like, all the weird parasites and worms and protozoa. I always struggle with those, so I'm going to look over that tomorrow, too. And then I have this book in bed with me right now. We kind of rule we're not supposed to study in bed, but I'm just looking through it, and I really wish I would have had the time to fully read this, because I think it would have really, really helped. But anyways, um, that was today. That's our plan tomorrow. I give you guys my cool little new trick. So again, it's, let's see if I can do it, three muscle men assassinated, four mice, five rats, and three okay uncles. So, ooh. I'll probably be in the test day doing all those and we have like our myo terms. We learn like a dance with our legs and our arms and oh boy, it's gonna be really cool. <laughs> um, that is all. I was gonna answer a question that someone posted yesterday asking about if we have summers off in med school. I think it depends on the med school, but I think ours is, is kind of pretty typical. I'm not sure. Um, but after first year, so we started our first year in the beginning of August, and then we were done kind of by the end of May. And then most people had off end of May, and then we started again mid-July, so they had a good, you know, what was it, like eight weeks off. And for us, John and I both did a four-week preceptorship, so we're going to have two weeks off, four weeks of our preceptorship, and then two weeks off again. And then this time around, we're done with class mid-May, and we don't start our rotations until July 30th. So we kind of have two and a half months off. However, you have to plan when you, when you, you have to, I think our school makes you have your boards done by July 25th. So you can pick any time in between there when to take them. And so I've had friends who took it last week and now they're on vacation. Um, we chose the 22nd just because we thought it would work for us. And so now we'll have a month and a few weeks off for vacation. And then our last real vacation, we only get, and then we have like the first years of med school, we have like a oh, Christmas vacation and um, we get a spring break our first two years. But third year, we only get one week of a Christmas or holiday break and then fourth year, none. And then from there on out, I'm guessing then we're in the real world. <laughs> but to answer the question, in med school, you do have summer vacation or summer breaks. Um, first year for us is about eight weeks. Second year, depends on when you take your boards, but you do have a little bit of a break. And then third and fourth year, no, you don't get a summer break until you graduate. And I think residency programs kind of start around now, so like mid to late June. Um, or like even beginning of August, or beginning of July. So yeah, I guess you kind of have, because we graduate like May 24th of 2014. So I think we'd have like a month, but I, we would probably use that to be moving. Anyways, I hope that answers your question, and I will see you guys tomorrow when there's only, there's gonna be less than 24 hours the next time I see you before my test. Crazy.